All right, everybody, this is what you want to do when you get this weight system. You want to lay everything out. Lay it all out so it's all in front of you so you can figure out where everything is. That way you know what to get to, okay? So that's step one, lay it all out. With respect to the bolts and screws, you're going to want to find the ones that are going to fit the right size. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to open them up and see which ones. Let's lay out all the bolts because it's they look similar and you've got to measure them. So if you're going to tape measure, use the millimeters. This is, In the instructions, it does ask for M70s versus M95s. You can tell the difference. We referred to them earlier where it made sense to use common sense on them. But some of these are pretty close. So there's an M50 here. An M75 here, so you need to know those M30s for those. This is 115. I couldn't find any instructions on anything for 115s. And there's 25, so we'll figure that out and figure out where we're going to The next put step where. that you're going to want to do is grab these main pieces. This is going to be your left side here. This is going to be your center. Looks like this. And this is going to be your right side. You're going to put these together, and there is the back side. It's going to go right here. You want these to line up right on the very first one, so it's going to be tight like that. Same on this side, tight, and these will line up with the screws like that. Find yourself caps for each one. Each of the caps will go on to all four corners. Okay? Here is what it'll look like when you put this part together. So your choice of screws are ones with a flat square one like this or ones with a rounder nut like this. And there's longer ones and shorter ones. And if you notice, if you use the shorter one, it's not going to go all the way through. So you don't want to get the one that goes all the way through. So I threaded one through for you just to show you. And you're just going to put it all the way through like that. Okay. And then we're going to do a washer and then a nut. So you do need to know that the back screws are a little shorter than the fronts. So the longer ones are the ones you use here on this side, but use the shorter ones. As you can see, the short ones are gonna make more sense for that piece. Also the round side, right? Nut looks like that. And also note, we're gonna put all the nuts on the outside of the unit, all the way on the outside. All right, nuts on the outside. Incidentally, for using the nuts, what we're going to do is make sure, make sure that you're going to use this part of the nut. So uh, what you're going to do is thread on, so there's two parts of the nut. The part that has the blue, that's going to go on the outside. So you're going to screw it in like that. Okay, and then it's going to get tight like that. So that's how you're going to put it on. But of course, you're going to put a washer first. We confirm that all the washers are the same, so you put a washer, and again, that side, and that's how you're gonna tighten it. So you do need to put a plate in here. There's two size plates that were given. Let's go with the bigger one. It's gonna line up with the back. This is the back part of the unit. This is one of the first steps as well. Purpose of the plate is so that the nut is gonna be catching the square part of the plate, like so. All right, so we're gonna line that up, put it all the way through. And get that to catch, washer, nut, and get that all, all done in place. All this is getting neighbors to come and help. So here we are. Um, you got to add this piece that goes up. Make sure these face towards the outside to give you an idea of where we're doing. This is the front. That's the back. Uh, there's one more thing that's very important to know which side goes on the left and right. On the outside, you want the side that has the big hole. So there's a big hole on one side, a thin hole on the other side. Same thing with this one, thin hole. And the big hole, the purpose of the big hole is to get the big rod in there, which then you'll put the cover. And this cover basically just shoots over this, and that's going to be what's going to hold your weights on the, on the outside of the unit. But you're going to want to find these, the small bolt. I called these uh, M30s in the instructions. They're calling them M20s. I, I called them 30 because that's how long they measure 30 millimeters. That's the only thing. 
that makes sense that's gonna go right there. This was hard to put in, it barely fit in. I actually had to use a little rubber mallet to get this thing to go in, but just make sure that it lines up and then we'll put the bolts on. Stage one of the instructions and the only thing that was a little confusing is it's telling us to add a clip. It doesn't seem like you need to add that clip right now, but basically this is what you should get after page one. Two bars going up, that back bar on, and that's pretty much it after page one. We're gonna add the front. These are the nice chrome pieces. If you'll notice, we're using flat hex nuts on these. Uh, we're calling these in our notes here, we call these M75s. In the instructions, it calls out for M70s, but the issue is, it, uh, with that being round on the end, it doesn't fit. Um, so this one fit perfectly, so cross your fingers that there's no issues further down the road. A uh, couple key things to note on this is outside is shiny with no holes. Inside has parts. And that's an important cool. step. Notice on the left side we have a we have all the holes, but we have a small hole. Notice on this side, we didn't have that. It happened to be up here up top. So you wanna make sure that this small hole is on the bottom. So we are gonna flip this guy and make sure that they match. And so now this will match right. on both sides. Is there a front and a back? Yes, you need to make sure that these are on the inside and the chrome on the outside has no holes in it, like so. Thing to note that these bolts on the bottom are gonna be the M95s, and you're gonna do two bolts here on the top. They're gonna to go through. Those are gonna be your M70s. Again, your M95s look exactly the same as your M70s. They're just a little bit longer. This part's a little confusing. The next step says to put on these round pieces. So these round pieces don't exist. What we were able to find is these square pieces that do the same thing. And in the picture that we got from the manufacturer, um, they go like this. So rather than having stability on this front chrome piece, this and like this shows, the stability is gonna go on the back piece and it makes sense with respect to the holes and everything and with the overall finished product picture that we got. So we're gonna use those pieces there with the exact same bolt configuration that we used on that side. So you're gonna pick up your M95s. Those are the ones that are gonna go all the way through. When you're putting this, this piece on, you do need to add a plate to the back to the back there. Purpose of that is when you're screwing this in, if you do it without a plate, it starts to make that, that uh, metal bow. So make sure you put one of these plates. There are two size plates, one one that fits perfectly. For this. So you're going to need someone to hold the top. That's an M. Calling that the M70. And then on the bottom, we're doing the bolt. And basically, this piece is going to go like that. It's going to be able to slide sitting on top, on the bottom, like that. And this should be easily slidable. Incidentally, for another one of these weight um, like storage areas on the nice metal stainless steel part that goes right there. Uh, two things, one, in the finished product picture that we got from the manufacturer, it was not there. And two, on the physical product, the nice metal, there is no side spot. It's basically talking about one of these. So there is no extra spot to put one of these on, on this nice front metal. So here's how you put the piece on top. And again, just to get you acclimated, this is the front. Some that's going to slide right on and that's the back and we are going to use let me see that bolt sir we're going to use the ones that are like that with that type of top that's going to go over here on the back and we're going to use the square ones for the right. something else is going to throw you off is since we don't have these round corners our round corners are not in the front they are in the back so they're not in the front so they are in the back and another thing that's going to throw us off is in the very top here, it's calling for this crossbar to go there. But in the actuality, this crossbar is going to go back a few inches. 
And if you look, it's going to be back on this part. That's where the piece is going to go across. So we're adding this piece on the very top. And I'll show you what that piece looks like. Um, we're going to bolt it like this. And we are going to add the bolts like that. We're going to have them be flat on the top. Screws on the on the nuts and the washers on top with a flat plate in addition to it. So it's going to look like that. The, that's going to be sticking out the back with that piece going forward. So find the piece that has the pulley system here. Yeah. You're going to put a flat one here. And the flat screw is going to look like this, this M75. So M75 is going to go right there. And the M70s, these ones with the round, round head and the square top, like that, are going to be the ones that you're going to use right here. So they'll fit flush Which, uh, with the nuts. So this piece we're going to put on the back. So what's important about this piece is that these pieces are pointing down. And on the oh, back right, piece, there's eight, there's so two pieces on the two holes on the back. The and this piece is going to go like this, and it's going to just marry right in between the words like this. So we're going to go like that, plates on outside, like that, and then we're going to tighten that up with the screws, the same screws that we use as always. All this cross piece, and it's definitely a two-man job. So we're putting these M95s all the way through. They're going to bolts are going to. The washers and bolts will come on the outside. You should come out about that far. And we're actually going to put a plate on the outside as well. So that's that. You find the plate that's going to work. You got a plate for me there, Phil? Yeah, it's on top of the rack. There we go. So plate on top. And then washers and nuts. Yeah. Washers and nuts. Again, this point is going to be pointing down. Three of those for the pulleys on that side. And that will be, again, acclimate you. Know, that is the back end of the system. That's the back and that's the front. So, thing that I thought I forgot, which was this uh, sliding component. Even though we already put the top on, don't worry, you can still get this in if you start from the bottom and push up. It slides right up like this and then goes back on like that. So don't worry that you're not done. Okay. All right, so we just slip into that plate at the same time. Push. There we go. So now this should be able to slide up and down. You've got a bumper and then you've got your safety stop there. So. Yeah, that worked out good. Cool, we'll try the other side. Okay. So now we get close. Assemble the piece that has to do with these pieces. So you're gonna find, get this piece, it looks like that with a hook. Get that piece, it looks like that. This is gonna go inside there. You're gonna grab a bolt. The bolt's gonna be one that's flat on one end. Right, here's a washer. And these bolts that we grabbed are M75s, so they look like those. All right, M75, we've got a washer on this end, a washer on that end. And the idea is that this is going to clip into here, like this. Okay, and that's going to go through, and we find a little bumper like that that's just going to sit on top. And we're going to feed through this guy these metal posts, like this. So the metal posts that we put in here. All right, the next step after this is to take this part. What we did is we added this, nothing is hooked in. We just, we kind of just took the bar and clipped it on here. So it kind of hold in place. And we slid these, Phil, can you slide that? Yeah. So we slid those in place. And the way that you figure out which side to go is it's the side that gets closest to the post like that. If you turn it the other way, they wouldn't be snug like that, okay? So you kind of hold those in place and we're gonna to attempt to, to slide this metal post in both of them at the same time, so while it's in place. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Mm -hmm. On this side, 
There you go, there's that. There's the bumper. We're gonna get it through this piece. We're gonna start going down for it. And then we're gonna get it to come in. And it just sits in place. Looks like that's all we're gonna need to do. We should be able to twist this out and then. Is it on the right one? Yeah, I think we need to uh, get these pieces in place. Now we're going to take these, and these are basically what the weights are going to go on. And these have a little Allen wrench piece to tighten it up. And we're just going to slide these in to the sides. Like so. Okay, and then once we put them on, we're going to Allen wrench them. And he's got the little Allen wrench. And tighten those in place. Side note for putting on this second crossbar. We had already tightened the very back one, which made it real difficult to slide this guy in and out. So we had to loosen up the back to get this guy in. So don't tighten that back one all the way in if you haven't put this all right, bar. What we're doing right now is taking off the screws that hold this piece together. And again, let me stand back so you can see. This is the front, that's the back, that's the back bar. And what we found out is this is a cross beam that goes, goes over and across right here. So what we're going to want to do is have that piece go over. Previously, we told you to put a plate on top of it. And now it looks like when we add this cross beam, that that will be the plate. So needless to say, watch all videos all the way through <laughs> to figure out what we told you how to do. What this right. cross beam, which again is different than what it shows in the catalog that I got. But we're going to put the same bolts that we've been putting all along and going through the top. With that on the back side, do the same thing on this side. Put those in place to hold. Yep. And we'll do that. We are going to put a plate on the back side of this thing. So grab a plate that fits the right configuration, put that on the back side, and use the nuts, and washers, and bolts to tighten in place. Now we're going to add the stabilizing piece. This piece is going to go like this, just like that. Line up with those two holes and those two holes like this, and it's going to look like this one done. Uh, you do have to put the screw. The only way the screw is going to fit on this one is like that. We did one this way just because we like the way it looks flat. But this one has no choice and that has to be on this side. Same with this guy. That's got to be on this side. And so that's the stabilizing piece in the corner. And that shows you how it goes. This is what the red bar looks like when it's done. Just like that. Class members up. Don't forget that you do need to have the plates on the outside. So plates will go on the outside here, and another plate will go on the outside on the top part. There are two different sizes, but it's pretty self-explanatory because if they don't fit, then they don't fit. So bigger one on the outside. It's gonna look like that. Plates everywhere. And that's for the cross for the back. We're gonna use these screws. And these ones are called M75. So M75, not the M50. Washer on the inside and outside, followed by the nut. So that's how it's going to go, which is going to go right there. We've been putting all of our nuts on the back end of the units. So this is still the cross. So just note that all the, the bolts are all going on the outside of the unit. The next piece we're going to do is the back piece, just to get you oriented. Here we are, and we're adding this, this metal part on top. We're going to go through. We're going to use the shorter M70 bolts that look like this. We're going to put it like that, and we're going to put the plate on the back end. Now, before you screw all that in, there's only one silver beam left, and you're going to slide that. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, only goes really one way because you got to be able to line the top bolts and line the bottom bolts up, as you can see. It's the only other way. 
There is this piece that goes on, and the key to this piece is to have the metal part towards the back and the bolt facing up. This bolt looks like it's gonna be a wire uh, cable uh, connection. So three pieces, add the main metal bolt, add the slider on top, and add this piece with a plate like that. Find the cable that has this connection on it, and that connection is gonna screw onto the back of the unit, okay? Just like that. We're gonna take the other end, we're gonna take it all the way through the top, and we're gonna stick it through here for now, and we're gonna get some pulleys to put, one pulley here and another pulley here, and this is just gonna dangle for right Screwing this in right here, we had to use a M85, which is a little longer to make it work. The other one was just a little too short. All right, we're gonna need to find the pulley. We're gonna install this. We're gonna, what we're gonna wanna do is find the one that has this on this end and this on this end, all right? We're gonna put this first one in right there. We're gonna use these M50s, which are the shorter of the screws. Put them in, washers on both sides, washer here, washer here, and a nut, and then we're gonna tie that through all the way there, and we'll show you how that's gonna. So now we're attaching this bottom one. Again, this is the very front. We're attaching the very bottom, and we're gonna try to get the wire underneath that. We're gonna go all the way up with that. Nicholas we're gonna there. loop through this. We're gonna put, it, put it one in here, and loop through that. So then we're gonna do that one right, uh, on each side. Okay, so find that piece, get that, get that through. So it's gonna go like that, okay? And that's gonna that's gonna be floating right in here. So get yeah, that piece. Is you should get this like this going through this pulley, coming up and over this guy. And keep in mind this is the the twisty pulley guy. It's gonna come back down. It's gonna come up to this to this guy. Okay. And then that's gonna come back down and get tied in. So let me back up so you can get kind of a better picture of this. So. That, yeah, there you go. That goes up, goes down, and that's how it should sit. Now we're going to figure out what cord is going to go into that, which I'm presuming is going to come up in the cable here. that has this on one end, and on the other end, it's just clear like that. What you're going to do is this is the front piece, you're going to slide it through here, you're going to get an Allen wrench, and you're going to get those little screws it looks like this before you put anything I mean it's pretty self-explanatory totally, but it's the only screw that looks like this take this guy and you screw it into here and what these will end up doing will allowing you to tighten this cord and hold it in place then this is going to come this cord is going to come all the way down he's adding the first pulley one here washer of course on every side so washer, washer, and nut. We're gonna do that. And of course, we'll tighten that in a second. But just to show you, we're gonna take that in. We're gonna go all the way through right here. And we're gonna get another, another one like that, go underneath. Pull that through. This one seems like it's a little bent, so we're going to get it in place. We'll have to open that up. So give us a second. We'll grab this piece, two of these pieces, and two of the pulley. So something you're going to put them together. So Phil's doing that right now. He's putting one in. One of them, he's one of the pulleys he's putting at the very end. And the other one, he's going to put it in. There's four holes. We're going to do it from the way the manufacturer shows, where there's one closest hole. Uh, sticking out, we're going to use the closest one, and it's actually going to, you're going to have the piece sticking over like that, okay? So we're using M50s for them. Uh, we're we're going right to hand tighten right now, but that's going to be floating like that. And again, just for a refresher, this is coming from the top. It's coming all the way down and through. This is the one that has the, and it looks like this. So go, he's okay. going to feed it through there. It's gonna come back down, and this piece is gonna to attach to this. We're gonna use also an M50 with a nut, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna tighten that, come all the way down, and do the exact same thing we did on that side. We'll do that into the back, 
And again, that's the eye bolt looking one. Using the smaller screws that we have left, which are the M50s. We're gonna tighten that in a second. That goes up to what I'm calling loop-de-loop. -loop. We just created this, two flat pieces. We went on the shortest one. Okay, and again, these are the same M50 bolts, washers on the outside, washers on this side. Just kind of hold that in here like that. It goes all the way through, all the way up, and then all the way up like this and tightens with these two little elements. Okay? So okay. we're just going to get those and we're going to figure out how to attach the top loop. loop. And we are going through like this. He's going to piece that back together. So, no, not yet. No, 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 no. This, this is going to come up first. I'm sorry. And it's going to come up. This is, that one's got to stay down underneath it. So you definitely need a few hands for this. Because that's going to need to go up. go up. Okay, so I'll hold this up. You tie that in place. Now, this piece that we're threading through the top half of this loop-de-loop -loop is the piece. There's one super long piece. Okay, and I will show you once he gets that in place where this is going. So this is one long cable that we fed through the top. We fed all the way through right here. We haven't put the uh, wheels in place here, but that won't matter at this point. And then this goes like this, okay? So we have one going here, one going here. This is all one big long cable. It's going to come all the way down and around. And we're going to attach the leftovers, but look, this is how it's going to going to look right now. So we're going to do that piece, and hopefully we won't have to take apart too many items. But Phil feels like it's going to come all the way across here and then back, back down and attach here. So let's see if we go to the very top. I'm going to get myself a bolt. These are the same M50s. Really, all the stuff we have left. A couple washers, bolt. I'm going to put it in like so. And with just for consistency, I'm putting the the uh, bolt on the outside, like I've done with the rest. So turning like that, and that's that's it of how we're attaching that piece. And what we did when we did that loop de loop here, we're threading through. Basically, we're catching catching right here, okay. So this one's catching, it's going to go all the way up. The, the long one that, that goes from the front, it's going to come up. It's going to come back down. It's going to loop on this one right here. It's going to come back up. It's going to catch right here. And we're going to, we're going to now go across to this one, straight across right here. You should be putting a wheel in here. It's okay if it, if it does, once it gets tight, tight. Here's a screw for you. You got one? There's one in my hand. Here you go. You got a washer? Mm-mm. You got a washer, Jim? No. So we're going to come across. Put it on there for me. So the washer is going to go on. I'm putting all these the same way. Where the nuts on the back. And again, having a few extra hands to help hold the cables in place is going to work. So now this guy is going to come and loop through and tie into this piece. So we originally tied this in, but if you have someone in your, now that you've got our video, you know you don't want to tie that in place yet because this is going to come down and attach to one of these sides, okay? So we're going to take this apart and loop it in, and then the loopy loop should complete the circle, which comes all the way around to here. So again, if we were to work backwards, this guy right here is one big long line that comes in to this guy here, okay? So this side is kind of done. I'll give you a better idea. It's going to go up and over. It's got a good little tightening that piece. It's going to come down. My hand's going right on across the one that comes down. Goes through this guy. Comes back up. Comes up and over. Comes down. All directions. Right to this loop de loop, mm -hmm. comes back there. up, goes over, and they are attaching this right here, and that's gonna tie right back in. Once they attach that, that comes back up. We're gonna add some 
the balls right there, and that goes over like that. Comes down now. If you want it to come down, come down like this, go like this, and then insert the bottom into it like this. So basically, this will be in the middle, and it's all set and done. Okay. Same same screws that you have left, really down the slim picking, so it's the same M50s. Washer on both ends and put it through so it'll be done.